Welcome, automotive aficionados and curiosity seekers, to a ride you won't forget. Today we're delving into the world of the ultra-rare, the outrageously fast, and the jaw-droppingly expensive, the eight rarest supercars on planet Earth. Buckle up, because we're about to take you from zero to 60 in just a few seconds, figuratively speaking, of course. Fasten your seatbelts, because we're kicking off with a car that's so rare, even Hollywood had to resort to fakes. Yep, we're talking about the Lycan Hypersport. Remember when this car was leaping across skyscrapers in Fast and Furious 7? Well, those were replicas, because who would risk denting one of the only seven Lycan Hypersports ever made? Now let's talk engine. The Lycan features a twin-turbo inline-six engine that churns out a staggering 740 horsepower and 708 pound-feet of torque, 0 to 60 in just 2.8 seconds, folks. And with a top speed of 245 miles per hour, it's almost like this car was built to chase hurricanes, or perhaps errant drivers. No wonder the Abu Dhabi police decided to add one to their fleet. Can you imagine a high-speed chase in one of these bad boys? And wait, we haven't even talked about the headlights. They come adorned with jewels. Yes, you heard that right. This is a car that doesn't just do the talking, it glitters while doing so. So if you've got some loose diamonds or rubies lying around, why not stick them on your car? Actually, don't do that. Leave it to the experts. Next up is the stuff of automotive legends, the McLaren F1 LM. Designed to commemorate McLaren's killer performance at the 1995 Le Mans, this car is what happens when you turn a racetrack monster into something road legal. This beauty boasts a 6.1-liter V12 engine and, interestingly, is slower than the original race car. Why, you ask? Well, it's got a downforce package, making it a cornering genius but a bit of a drag on a straight line. Still, this car isn't playing around. Of the five in existence, the Sultan of Brunei snagged three, because why have one when you can have a hat trick? Another went to Yoshio Suzuki in Japan, and the last was originally owned by David Morrison, a wealthy Brit. Eventually, the car cozied up in Ralph Lauren's vast collection, probably sharing garage space with some polo shirts or something. Aggressive and angry, the F1 LM isn't just a car, it's a statement. With only five units in the world, you're more likely to find a golden ticket in your candy bar than spot one of these on the road. Time to rev up the tempo with the Lamborghini Veneno, a car so rare and extraordinary, it might as well be a unicorn. If unicorns roared and did 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds, that is, Lamborghini built the Veneno to mark its golden jubilee, and boy, did they celebrate in style. Based on the Aventador LP704, the Veneno comes equipped with a 6.5-liter V12 engine producing a sky-piercing 740 horsepower. But what really grabs your eyes are the nods to the Lambos of yesteryears. The wheel arches call back to the iconic Countach, and the Y-shaped taillights are straight out of the Aventador's design bible. With only five Venenos ever built, owning one is like owning a piece of Italian art history, but faster, much faster. Here's a zesty tidbit for you. Each of the three Venenos sold was splashed with one color from the Italian flag, red, white, or green. That's not just owning a car, that's owning a patriotic missile on wheels. Hold on to your seats or maybe just duct tape yourselves in, because next up is the Pagani Zonda Revolution, a car so powerful it could probably rotate the earth the other way if it wanted to. Born as a special variant of the track-dominating Zonda R, the Revolution is a tarmac-shredding beast featuring a 6.0-liter V12 that kicks out an unreal 800 horsepower and 538 pound-feet of torque. So how fast is it? Try 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds and a top speed of 215 miles per hour. Just imagine cruising down the Autobahn with that kind of power. You'd pass everything except maybe a speeding bullet. And here's the kicker. One of the five revolutions was modified to be more practical for everyday use. We're talking a slightly quieter engine and comfier seats. I can just picture the owner doing grocery runs in a car that debuted at the Goodwood Festival of Speed in 2023. Switch gears because we're diving into the mesmerizing world of the McLaren P1 LM, a car that's more exclusive than a VIP club on Mars. 
Designed by Lanzante Limited as a road legal spin-off of the track-focused P1 GTR, the P1LM is anything but tame. You might be tempted to think it's more domesticated than its racetrack sibling, but you'd be wrong. Very wrong. This vehicle has shed about 130 pounds compared to the P1 GTR. Lighter seats, titanium fixings and bolts, and plastic windows help achieve this lean physique. And then there's the downforce. This car has 40% more of it than the GTR, thanks to dive planes, a larger front splitter, and a rear wing that could probably double as a helicopter landing pad. Oh, and did I mention there are only five of these beasts on the planet? Each one is essentially a collector's dream, and they come in vibrant shades of orange and a single solitary gray. A car so rare it's like finding a four-leaf clover during a solar eclipse. Are you ready to add some sparkle to your life? Meet the Koenigsegg CCXR Trevita, a car so luminous it probably needs its own pair of sunglasses. This Swedish marvel is not your run-of-the-mill Koenigsegg. Nope, it's made of a unique carbon fiber composite that turns the car a shiny shade of silvery white, essentially making it look like it's covered in diamonds. Boxing legend Floyd Mayweather was one of the lucky owners. And let's face it, when you've got a car that sparkles in the sunlight, who needs championship belts? Koenigsegg initially wanted to make more Trivitas, but the production cost was too steep, even for them. Mayweather eventually auctioned his Trivita off for a cool $2.6 million. Performance-wise, the Trivita is no slouch either. It rockets from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.1 seconds and tops out at an estimated 248 miles per hour. So, it's not just all shimmer and glitter. This is a dazzling comet on four wheels. Time to kick it up a notch with a car that's rarer than a stress-free rush hour commute. Enter the Nissan R390 GT1, a supercar that's almost mythical. Originally built to compete at Le Mans, the R390 GT1 had a roller coaster of a journey, finally making it to a commendable third position overall behind the Porsche 911 in its second year. Unfortunately, rule changes led Nissan to shelve the project. Now here's where it gets tantalizing. Nissan promised to make road legal versions of this marvel, but guess what? They only built two. One of these rarities remains with Nissan, while the other shows up like a celebrity guest at car events, most notably at the Concorso d'Eleganza Villa d'Este in 2022. Under the hood, this treasure packs a 550 horsepower 3.5 liter V8 engine, and with a 0 to 60 time of 3.9 seconds and a top speed of 220 miles per hour, this car isn't just a museum piece, it's a road ready rocket ship. Buckle up, folks. We've reached the apex of automotive exclusivity. Drumroll, please. The Ferrari P4-5, a car so singular it makes unicorns look like pigeons. Built by Pininfarina for car enthusiast Jim Glickenhaus, this one-off wonder was crafted in such secrecy, even Ferrari found out about it five months into the project. Can you imagine their faces when they finally saw it? The P4-5 starts with a Ferrari Enzo skeleton, but pushes boundaries with more downforce and better balance, and it's 620 pounds lighter than the Enzo, all while boasting a robust 660 horsepower engine. For the non-math majors among us, that translates to blisteringly fast. Glickenhaus shelled out approximately $4 million for this custom ride, but considering its one-of-a-kind status, it's practically priceless today. If cars were movie stars, this one would be the Oscar winner that never even went to auditions. Well, there you have it. Eight supercars so rare, they're practically mythical creatures of the automotive world. We hope you've enjoyed this turbocharged journey through luxury performance and unparalleled exclusivity. Thanks for riding shotgun with us, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more high-octane content. Until next time, safe driving.